the portable washing machine, which I can just plug it into the regular outlet. It's way smaller. It fits in my closet over there. I literally can imagine my life without this washer. It's incredible. I did have some issues with the machine, which this is all the lint and stuff, and you can just throw it out. Hi everyone, so it's been over a year since I bought my portable washing machine and I did, I think, two reviews in total. Uh, I did one after getting the machine with unboxing and everything and then I did a six months review, um, yeah, like over half a year ago. So uh, I think it's the time to make another review after a year uh, since I'm still getting a lot of comments, a lot of questions uh, about the machine, how I like it, if I still have it, if I still use it. And the answer is yes, I still use the machine uh, at least uh, two times a week. Uh, sometimes even more often, but I usually just run it on Wednesdays and Sundays. This is just, you know, a part of my routine and I love it. It's been a few weeks since uh, the last time I cleaned the lint filter in this washer, so now it's the perfect time to show you how much lint has been collected here, so... Mm. It's actually hard to do it with one hand. Uh, okay, wow. This is all the lint and stuff and you can just take it and throw it out and basically put it back in. So this actually works really great. Let me just blend this in and it's done. I did have some issues with the machine, which I mentioned in another video, uh, which I'm gonna link it down below in the description. Um, I mentioned that I had issues with the hose. Um, the hose was leaking, so I replaced the hose, and since replacing the hose, I don't have that issue. Um, I bought like one of the cheapest like hoses on Amazon for like, I think it was like $10 uh, and I replaced that hose uh, and the new hose is a little longer it's it's um, it's a little different but it's a way better quality uh, so I'm very happy with that hose uh, so that was a great change um, what else uh, I still use the towel to keep the uh, drain hose in place and it works great. I thought I would use the Velcro, which I showed in the other video, uh, but I don't use it. You know, the towel works great, so that's that's awesome. And I also use uh, stoppers for the wheels and that's it. Um, yeah, I mean, to be honest, like, it's been a bliss. I I recommend everyone getting that machine. I tell people at work, they are hooked. Um, it, it's great. I mean, you know, I, I love my small apartment, but it was a deal breaker for me that there was no uh, in-unit washer and dryer. To be honest, I really hated using the, the public uh, washer and dryer. It was just such a pain. And it was also very expensive because one, um, a 30 minute cycle would cost two dollars and then I would also have to dry it and I think 30 minutes of drying was also two dollars so I would usually have to dry my clothes for like sometimes even up to two hours and that would cost a lot of money and that's when I found the portable washing machine which I can just plug it into the regular outlet it's way smaller it fits in my closet over there uh, I can roll it around the apartment it's super easy and it's just like, I'm already used to it. Like it's no, it's a second nature for me to do laundry here without like, you know, a special laundry room. I can still highly recommend the washer. Uh, it works as well as on the first day I got it. This is how loud the washer is when it's running. It's pretty quiet. This is, by the way, my favorite um, cycle, soak and heavy, because uh, I usually like to run uh, the cycle for around 30 minutes, so when I uh, select this one or the heavy one, I can uh, change the um, how many times it rinses, 
the laundry and uh, I can change I I'm not sure if I can change the wash, but I always change the rinse to one instead of two. And then it's exactly 31 minutes and it's it's pretty clean. I, I just, I don't feel like it has to be uh, longer. I use it every two days, sometimes every day, but it's usually every two, three days. Uh, I'm pretty regular. I have a lot of laundry. I have a dog and um, I like to clean stuff so I'll, I always have a lot of rugs and stuff. Um, so I, I use this washer pretty often. Uh, so you know so far it's been great. Uh, I basically got money back for this washer within the um, first month. I, I mean I did so much laundry in the first month uh, of owning this washer that um, I got my money back. It was around $200, $250. I literally can imagine my life without this washer. It's incredible. And uh, right now I'm in the bathroom, which is pretty small, so it's kind of echoey here, but I usually close the door when I'm running the washer and I just work in the living room right next to the bathroom and I can't hear anything. Um, so it's pretty quiet. I really like it. Um, so yeah, I can still recommend it. And if you know, if you ask me if I would buy it again, uh, definitely, yes, yes, yes. I recommend to uh, my family, to my friends who live in uh, apartment buildings, even in a house if you want, you know, a small um, washer. It, it's great. And now it's spinning so you can hear how loud it is. Yep, that's it. Yeah. It's super fast, by the way. Like the laundry I get after I uh, after the after the cycle is done the laundry is super super dry so this is pretty powerful that's the loudest it gets and I still can't hear it if I'm in a separate room maybe I'll show you hello oh the vacuum is running <laughs> but you can't really hear um, the washer Laundry is done. Let's see how dry it is. Uh, it's still drier than um, from the other washer, the uh, side load washer which I used to have um, by LG. So it's still definitely more powerful. Which is surprising because it's so much smaller. Here's the towel. Yep, a little damp. I'm just gonna dry it in my <laughs> portable dryer now for around 30 uh, minutes. If I'm gonna sit on uh, hot, then probably around 60 minutes. And it's gonna be done and ready. So this is my little routine, which I do practically every uh, two days. I don't think I ever did laundry just once a week uh, because I, I love doing laundry and I have a lot of laundry to do. So now what I do, I just move this, which is, as you can see on the roller. So I just move this, I roll this over there and it sits there. It doesn't block the entrance, um, so it's not a problem. And it's very easy and fast to hook it up. So this is what I do now. If you have an issue with leaking hose uh, or leaking this part, the adapter, uh, make sure to put a lot of hydraulic tape and your problem will be fixed. Uh, you can get it you know, at the plumbing store, Home Depot or they usually attach it whenever you buy uh, any like you know faucet or adapters. They usually uh, attach this hydraulic tape for free. So make sure you know to use it. Um, and this is the new hose which I got, uh, which is like super solid, great quality. Um, since I uh, mounted um, onto my washer, I had no issues with any leaks. Um, can see it's it's also pretty long which is nice um, yeah but it's it's really solid uh, I'm gonna link it down below in the description I bought it on Amazon um, and I also use this <laughs> trick to keep the um, water hose um, up here uh, I also bought some velcro which I thought I would you know uh, apply here to just make sure that this hose stays in place but the towel folded towel works great so i haven't have any issues with uh this hose um falling out of my sink since 
I started doing this so I can highly recommend it uh, what else ah well dolly sorry it's a little dirty but <laughs> I love this dolly um, thanks to this dolly I can just move this washer around super easily super quickly uh, it has solid solid wheels um, so it's, it's just a lot easier to move this washer uh, from one room to another uh, because obviously like I have super small bathroom like I, I can't fit this washer here so I have to move it uh, but another tip for you guys make sure to get these stoppers actually I only use one all the other wheels are um, are free. I don't need to use a stopper. Just this one um, works good enough, and it keeps the washer in place because you know uh, these wheels will move whenever the washer will spin. So it's it's great. Uh, these few accessories really help me, uh, <laughs> you know, with my washer. With my washing routine, uh, but yeah, I've been loving this portable washer, and I can definitely still recommend it. After a year, it was a great investment. I have no regrets. So a lot of people were asking me if it's still working, if I don't have any issues with it, uh, if it didn't get like more loud. Uh, but no, it, it still works as brand new. Uh, I don't have any issues with it anymore uh, because the small issues which I had with to be honest, just mostly the hose. Uh, I my basically fix, so it's great. Uh, I'm not planning to get another different portable washing machine because I really like the one I have. I think it's the best one you can get on the market for that price range. Um, and yeah, I can definitely highly recommend it. And I'm also loving my uh, dryer, which I have right here in my bedroom uh, and I'm gonna make another review on that too because it's been over half a year since I got it and again like the same the best investment ever like my portable machine uh, my portable washing machine and my portable dryer it's just great so um, yeah if you have any questions let me know in the comments and I will see you soon in the next video bye bye